Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, today is gonna to be a fall cook with me, make dessert with me, and decorate with me day today. So that fall weather is upon us. It's getting cooler at night, those crisp, cool nights where on the mountain it's like, ah, oh, that feels so nice. But during the day, it's still pretty warm. Like today it's gonna to be 90 plus degrees, so I'm like, that's okay, shut the windows, got the air conditioner on. We're still gonna pretend it's fall in the house. So. <laughs> I'm up early today. I'm going to make some of our dinner, some of our family favorite comforting meals for the fall season. So I'm going to make some for dinner tonight and get it ready and then we'll bake in the oven later today. So one of our family favorites is tater tot casserole. Simple, easy to make. Now usually I make this and I use cream of mushroom soup and cream of chicken soup and then a can of evaporated milk. But um, I stopped making it because a couple of my kids can't do the dairy. But the other day I made all of that cream of mushroom soup right here so i pulled i have like one and a half of these i pulled out of the freezer and this is what i'm going to use for my base for my casserole so what i'm going to do first and i haven't done i remember this is new hamburger raw i've always cooked my hamburger to save time it's raw now so i'm going to put it over here on the stove and we're going to start frying it up so you guys ready to have a great day all right let's go let's go fry some hamburger let's go all right so what i wanted to go into my pantry to get an onion out i'm like what's that smell you know the smell of the rotten potato in the pantry yeah, had that smell in there, so I had to, there was those little fruit flies everywhere. I'm like, nasty, so I had to identify. I'm like, where are these are brand new potatoes? I'm like, where is the rotten potato? Underneath the bottom, one had gotten smashed, so I had to clean out the pantry, get the potato out of there, and I got my onions. So my meat is fried you know, over here. It's almost gonna be done. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna chop this up so I can fry it with it. Okay, so I'm gonna be frying my hamburger here with my onion. And then what I'm gonna make is I bought a big container of Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. And I usually just make them like whatever with salt, nothing too crazy. But we go to the Longhorn Steakhouse. Anybody else? Let me dump this in here. No way, it's gonna boil off all the gems. Um, we go to the Longhorn Steakhouse and they have delicious tasting roasted. They're like a honey with a little bit of spice. Brussels sprouts. So I Google the recipe and put one. So I'm going to make some of those. So what you do is you take this and you um, blanch them for about four minutes. So when you blanch a vegetable, if you want to freeze any of your vegetables, blanch them first and then put them like in an ice bath and then you'll be able to put them in your freezer without getting like smushy. So this is just going to fry up here. This will be four minutes. Let me set my timer and then we'll be able to drain those. So what you do with the Brussels sprouts is you boil them for four minutes, which I'm doing. Strain them, drain, drain them and strain off the water and then put them in an ice bath for like a minute. Let me get the wok pot. Madeline's gloves, it's like burning hot. I need some water in here. Do that, so sit in here with some ice. This will be ready here, let this sit for like a minute. And then over here, my meat should be ready. It is perfect, I'm gonna put you over here. So I'm just gonna put the meat here in the nine by 13 pan on the bottom, this is good, and then I'm gonna cover it with tater tots. No, those are tater rounds, not tater tots, but that's what I had, so that's good. Then what I'm gonna do, I have cream of mushroom soup here. Now normally you would do, I think it's a can of cream of mushroom, a can of cream of chicken, and then some condensed milk, and you mix it together and you pour it over top. But I'm just gonna pour this on top. Let me find my spatula here. Because it's thin enough, it's, it's not like super thick, so if this tastes really good, I'm gonna pour this on top.
Now, some of you might want it a little bit more creamier and that is okay. So that's where you add the milk in there. I could have added milk to it and made it more of a liquid to pour on to make it nice and moist. I'm just doing mine different because I just know how my kids are gonna eat it tonight. So some are gonna be like, oh, that's just too much like a casserole. So if I have it a little bit separate, it'll be better, but it'll still have the gooey on top. And you can also put cheese on this. I'm choosing not to for, um, just for the sake of my kids. And we do have some dairy-free cheese options, but that's gonna go in my refrigerator. When we have dinner tonight, we'll pop it in the oven and bake it and it'll get nice and crispy. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my Brussels sprouts. I'm just gonna take these and slice them in half. I think that's all I do, so I'm looking at the recipe. Sp slice in half, put on a cookie sheet. I lined it with a um, one of these little rubbery things from Amazon Basics, so it'll stick to the pan. And then I think we're gonna roast these. So I should roast them tonight instead of today, but that'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna roast them now. I'm gonna roast them now, get them done. So let me just slice them in half. So the, those were, I should have cut the ends off before, but I did not, so I had to go back and cut those off. So this is perfect. So you wanna leave all the little leafy pieces that fall off because they get crispy and yummy. All I'm gonna do is put some olive oil on, on here with salt and pepper. We're gonna let these roast for about 25 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, so since the oven is already on, I'm going to be roasting things. I've got a couple sweet potatoes. I'm going to peel these, slice these, cover these with olive oil, and put them in the oven as well. Gathering vegetables. I'm making my dressing the sauce for the Brussels sprouts butter. What's the one thing I have in my grave cover? I'm like, I'll take it off and just put the butter in there for a second. It exploded everywhere. So I'm gonna wipe this out. Perfect. Okay, don't mind all that. So what I'm doing is um, the Brussels sprouts are in there. I had sweet potatoes. This is turning into a ton of gathering your fragments. I'm just like stopping. We just make the dinner. So we're getting the dinner. Put the sweet potatoes in there. I had a little bit of broccoli in the refrigerator. I threw that in there. And then I had some chickpeas that we had from our salad a few days ago. So I'm like, why don't I just roast those? Those will be good. That'll be a really good thing to make and eat. So those are going to get done. I'm like, why am I roasting now? But that's okay. I'm going to put those just in a container for later. And then my little mixture here that you're going to pour over the Brussels sprouts is butter and then use maple syrup, you know, real maple syrup, whatever you got. And honey, I didn't totally out of honey. I thought I had a big container of honey. Must have not. So this was a gift a long time ago that I got. So I'm going to pour this in here. And then you, the spices you're supposed to use is chili powder, smoked paprika, chipotle chili powder, sea salt, and red pepper flakes. I, of course, have, you know, crushed red pepper and paprika, no chili powder. So I'm going to add I feel like the gourmet burger steak seasoning. You can smell, you know, it smells like that. I'm gonna add that in there. Whatever, whatever you got. So I'm just gonna put it in here, stir it. Then when it comes out, I'll toss the Brussels sprouts in there. It's gonna be delicious. That tastes really good with a little kick. So I'm gonna set that aside. When those come out, we'll toss them in there. Okay, for the apple, is it car what's it called? Caramel apple salad? Apple cinnamon salad, right? Apple cinnamon pretzel salad. It looks like it's such a small amount, and I'm like, uh, you know, I'm gonna go bigger. So I'm gonna make it more like my pretzel dessert just because that's what I know. And then let's make a little, it says like four apples. I'm like, that's not very many apples. So we're gonna cut a little bit more. So I'm gonna first you make a pretzel crust, just like you do the jello salad. So I will put the real recipe on the screen. I'm gonna use a little bit more because this is good for me. I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna do the whole bag. I'm gonna make a little bit extra to give away, but I have to make sure it tastes good because it's our first time making it. <laughs> But I thought, I'm gonna use my little 
containers, my little glass dishes, like the ones I do my meal prep in, and bake some of the crust in there and make smaller versions for a couple. People that have smaller size P numbers. Okay, this is, it's a quarter cup of sugar, but I'm gonna do a little bit more because I'm obviously going more than that. That and then my butter. I'm just gonna mix this all in here and let it mix up. So I'm gonna put mine in a nine by 13 pan and then I've got two little ones. I'm gonna do a couple little ones for a couple people that can have smaller size families. Google my own recipe and it's a cup of butter that I use so I just melted some more I'm like I feel like that wasn't very good so I just melted another stick of butter that looked a lot better and then I'm just gonna mix this in here and then I'm gonna push it in the pan I was just looking I'm like oh I don't know I just made this in my mom's and I'm like I feel like I need to do a little bit more so it just you don't want it like so hard because when you, the crust gets so hard it just uh, it gets it's obviously when you cut it you're like oh break the crust so you want it kind of softer but when you squeeze you want to know how you do it let me show you how you do it when you're mix with your hand use your hands when you're mixing with your hands squeeze it see how that sticks together that's gonna make a good crust not when it's like falling apart so you want it to make the quick crust okay that looks better For the apples, you're just going to peel them, dice them. I'm going to use my little chopper thing. I could use the ones in my freezer, but I'm going to use up the fresh stuff for now because I'm just making it this way. Okay, doing a bunch of things at once because you know food all ends at the same time so what I'm gonna do is those these came out of the oven roasted delicious here's the Brussels sprouts I'm gonna just put this in this mixture and stir them up Brussels sprouts in the morning before breakfast. Can I say that's so good? Oh yeah, right there, that's done. All right, let me go back to my apple stuff. I gotta mix up to make like a thickener. Water, cornstarch, sugar, and cinnamon and lemon juice to a boil. So probably double, probably double what they say because you know I use like, or more like triple. We'll double it, we'll just make it less liquidy. That'll be good. We're gonna put this on the stove over here and let this come to a boil. Let's, we're doing 20 things at once. Let's put the roasted veggies in a bowl here. So this is getting thick. You just turn it on, let it get thick, which I'm doing here. And then, don't mind the mess everywhere. I'm trying to clean as I go, but it's, I'm trying to hurry. So this is in here. I'm gonna add all these apples. I might have to make more sauce, but you know, because I'm doing things a little bit different. I would have, rather have not a gooier and a more of an apple. Let's see, let's just add them all. What's it gonna hurt, right? We cooked apples. I feel like I've got one container cool, but like I need to get another one. Like we're gonna just turn this down. We'll see. <laughs> it's all—it's never the same way. I just see apple pie. Like we had apple pie. We were in Michigan, and it was a homemade apple pie. And Julie had it, and um, 
it was like mostly apple chunks. It wasn't like the liquid. Now we had a pie at another house and it was more the liquid. So I think it just depends on, or the gooey part, it just depends on what you're used to. Myself, I'd rather have the chunks than the liquid. That's just me, so I don't know. So this is says to just let this kind of simmer for about 10 minutes. They can keep simmering, right? I'll let this simmer. That is done. That's got to cool, and then I got to make my cream cheese whipped topping mixture, and then you're going to put it on top of that. So hopefully that's firm enough. That should be good. So I might have to get another cool whip out. I'm looking. I only have an eight ounce. I feel like I need to make more, but we can just do it thin. It doesn't have to be super thick. So this is great, and then uh, we'll have like dinner is done, which is good. I'm doing our. You know, we're doing a brunch, but I do have leftovers for brunch today, so we're going to probably just pull out. We've got pancakes for that. I even have some eggs, some bis biscuits, sausage, and gravy, so we'll probably just pull those out for um, breakfast, and I have these. These are the freezer. I think these are, they were like, um, I think it's cheese, pepperoni. I'm pretty sure it's string cheese. I'm pretty sure it's a piece of string cheese, yeah. They're like pizza roll-up, so I'm going to keep that out for today because sometimes they don't always get so full at brunch and they can just kind of keep them munching. I think I need to keep this up. Keep this turned up. Because yeah, this is perfect. That's a per I feel like that's a perfect amount. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, let that keep cooking. Okay, so this is good. Nice and crisp. It's all thickened. So what I'm gonna do, everything has to cool. And it's a big pot. So I will just let this cool. I have to start my school for Monday, but I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna finish up these. I'll make my little cream cheese powdered sugar and whipped cream mixture. I'll put that on top, let that cool, and then this will be cool and I can pour it on top. We'll get there. So I gotta be done cooking. I'm gonna see you guys in like two seconds, but for me, it's gonna be a few hours. So I mixed up all of those three ingredients here. I always use the granulated sugar, so this is the powdered sugar, but it's good. I'm gonna spread it on here. I made three extras and then realized you're supposed to save some for the top of the apple pie stuff, so I'm only gonna do one of the tiny bowls with the cream cheese because the other two I'm gonna crumble up to put on top. Okay, this looks like the best fall dessert I've probably ever made right here. Oh yeah, delicious. I like apple pie when it's chilled, so I am gonna wait till this gets cold and have some tonight. Even though I want to try a bite of it, I know it's gonna taste delicious. So we will show you that tonight. So my food is done for now. We're gonna be decorating this afternoon and then um, we'll show you that and then I'll show you the food and what we're gonna eat for dinner tonight. Okay, so we are finished with our school stuff that we're doing. So I've got all my decorations sitting out here. I'm like, okay, just gotta put them somewhere. So this is it, this is what we got to work with. Lots of florals. I think we had a lot of stuff from like, I don't even know, goodie will, weddings, just tons of stuff that we have here. So I feel like a cheap way to decorate is get yourself some pine cones, which there's some in here, I think they're in here, but most are at my Christmas pile, I think. I'll have to look at those up. And then leaves and florals, that's an inexpensive way to decorate. So we've got all this stuff in here. So I'm gonna do my kitchen first and see what I can come up with. Okay, I'm doing life. I'm trying to like do school with the kids, talk with them, and try to think about decorating at the same time. And I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. So I got, I got one thing up there. 
And then I, you stare at it and you're like, is that too much or is that okay up there? So I think that's okay up there. We'll see, I'll let Brooke come up. She'll tell me if that's like too much or need to tone it down. And then I'm like, what else am I gonna put up? I don't know, I pulled that stuff down over there. And then I went down in my garage. I forgot I have this shelf here and I have these lanterns that I kind of pull up for fall and winter. So it's more like that, even though it's like, not like I'm literally sweating my ears on, it's still like 90 degrees. So bring that warm and cozy vibe is what I'm going for. So we'll see. So I'm gonna mess around a little bit. I'll show you what I do. All right, so it's been a while. <laughs> my day has gotten away from it. It's supposed to be like a cook with me, bake with me, and we're gonna have fall delicious favorites. I'm gonna decorate my whole house. It's gonna be beautiful and be great. Yeah, it's not happening today and that is okay. So I, I got all my decorations out, started working in the kitchen here. I started putting stuff up and I'm like, where do I even put everything? And then my ice machine, it was, it's been, it got so hot. We have the pellet ice machine. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so in ice machines, if you don't know, those countertop ones, you're supposed to use distilled water. And you know why? It doesn't have all that salt content, the sodium content in it. So it doesn't clog up your little tubes inside. Well, for me, one time, I've, I've had my ice machine for what, a year or two? It's been over a year and a half, I think. I've cleaned it out once, the tubes. Like I've cleaned it, cleaned it out every week or every two weeks, every couple weeks, whenever I just feel the need to. But you actually have to take all the outside casing off and inside there's a tube, like a little water tube, and it's caked with all that buildup. I guess if you rotate and cycle in vinegar, which I did for a little bit after the first time this clogged, and then it's like, eh, it's fine, no big deal. Well, I haven't done it in a long time, and so I was on my countertop, and it's it's getting so hot, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm sweating in here. I feel like this is hot. My house is hot. I'm like, why is it so hot in here? And so I took the thing apart, and I'm like, oh, there was like this much thick, about three, four inches thick of the calcium buildup in there. So I just cleaned my ice machine up and stuck it over there, and I'm like, that's gonna work right there. So over here, I was like, how am I gonna do this? Today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to focus on just getting my dining room kitchen done. That's it. If, if nothing else, I get my kitchen done. That's a good thing. I just have, my week's gonna kind of be busy and I don't know how much more I can do in the house, but you know what? Hey, if I can do something, it's better than nothing. So over here, I went down to my garage and got my little shelf off. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's a shelf for the wall, but I put it out for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and put little decorations on because I feel like that's a good thing. So I want that over there. I like my ice machine by my sink, but I don't like looking at it all the time. I don't like it right next to the sink because I feel like it's a big giant cloggy thing, but kind of far away might be okay. We still have to reach and get it, but it's going to work. The other side is where we do dishes, so that's not going to work for me. I just need a bigger kitchen, but this is what I have, so we're going to do with what we can. I used to have it over by my refrigerator, and I think one of my other large family mamas, she's like, you're going to want it next to your sink, I promise you, and it, she's right. It's a pain in the butt to move it when you wash it. It is better to have it right there, so that's just the way it's going to be, and I put that little flower right there. So now I'm going to focus up on top. I'm going to try to get my top stuff done. That's fine. Brooke said, leave it. It's good. So over here, I forgot that I have all these lanterns. And so when you have a lot of lanterns, you're like, how do you decorate? You know, I've got tons of flowers, tons of these things. I'm just going to put this inside here and then stick them up there. It's good. Easy. Okay, Steven just came inside from outside. He's like, Mom, why don't we decorate the box over here? So he put this together here. Look at that. We come down here, Scott. He even put the little scarecrow in the back and look at. Genius right there. Put this in front. Mama, sometimes when the kids want to decorate, you gotta let them decorate. This we can put up on the wall up here. Look at this. Is that gonna be too high? Autumn leaves and fall breezes. That's cute right there. Look at that. This is Steven says a thumbs up. This was. Steven, this is cute. This is really cute how you put all this in here. I wish I had some more little boards, but I could always get some boards at the store and put some in there too, but all right. We got, we got a corner done. Thank you, Steven. Okay, it's been a busy afternoon, so I've been having to run, pick up kids, do things, and then the decorating's kind of going and stopping, and I'm like, okay, I didn't get to do that. I think if you're just gonna decorate for a video, it's gotta be like an all-day thing or a few hours we can block up. I didn't have that today, but that's okay. We're getting there. So we got over here. Brooklyn's kind of set things all up over here real cute the top she says she doesn't like because we need to change that steven's got his little corner over here done let me show let's look up close i like to have an area where i can get my batteries and all that i thought so she got this looking right here so i thought that looks cute right there and then um over here this was steven's little contribution and i'm like that looks cute 
That's cute. I'll take it right there. And then we do our dishes here. So I left this open. That hanging up up there. This I got here and I just ordered a um, oil bottle because I, I'm using my olive oil like all the time. So I just, I had like a skinnier one. I used it up and then I was like, I'll have like my big giant plastic one. So I ordered a stone one to go right here. I've got a black one coming. And then over here, the kids have been getting, um, for school, I've been giving them like a candy tray. We don't have it all the time, but when they're done with their school, they can have one. And so I thought, can we do this without them eating everything? I bought the like old fashioned candy jars. We're going to see how that goes. So I can get a couple different varieties, put them out, and then they can have that. So I got that to go right here. So like that's going to be for my kitchen right now. And it's like, I'm like up here, I got to do some up here. So I'm just going to have to stop on the whole decorating. And that's okay. It's okay. There's another day. So another, tomorrow's another day. But I got dinner out. So I pulled some of this out of the freezer. I just put it in the oven to get it crispy for a few seconds. Heated these up. And here's our tater tot casserole. It looks a little more brown. Normally you'd have a lot more creamier, but again, remember I'm keeping it dairy free. So we will have it and then we'll have it with um, some ketchup, mustard, whoever wants that with it, or if they want to put some cheese in it, they can do that individually. But this will be an easy dinner and then we'll have dessert. All right, guys, real fast. How was the tater tot casserole? Delicious. 10 out of 10. They said 10. And then how is the dessert? 10 out of 10. No, 10 out of 1,000. This is really, really good. First, it kind of tastes like carrot cake. I don't know why, but it's actually really, really good. So, the, but it does. The whipped cream they said tastes, I don't know why, but it's really, really good. So make this dessert, it's delicious. Okay, so we are finished for our day today. So as much as I wanted to do a decorate dinner and dessert with me, I got like partial decorate. So I'm gonna have to have a partial one today and that's okay, that's just the way my day is going. So you know when the days just get busy and you know what, you just go, that's okay. Tomorrow's a new day. So you're gonna have to come back and see more decorating. We've got partial, that's, it's good enough for now. So, but make that dessert because it was so, so good. It's probably the best fall dessert I've made in a really long time. So, all right, you guys have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. Remember you are designed, you're created, and you are selected by God to do great, wonderful things. You are, and I'm gonna see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Okay, see you tomorrow, bye.